Hey friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and more. I hope you all are having a great day and a great weekend. Um, I promised you guys a Christmas home tour 2022. So I'm gonna start here in the dining room. Um, so much of this stuff was purchased at the Dollar Tree. It's just amazing how beautiful a table can look um, and doesn't have to cost a fortune. So these little holders here on the candle holders um, were actually ornaments that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I think they're so pretty. Uh, and the candle holders themselves were also purchased there. And then the candles were purchased at Walmart. I was trying to find red ones because um, I thought the red would be a really good pop of color. However, they didn't have any. I guess it's just that time of year. They're out. So um, these Tis the Season plates, the small ones, and then the larger ones and the clear ones were all purchased last year at the Dollar Tree. These beautiful napkins were gifted to me from Kim over at Kim's Inspired Life for my birthday in September. Um, and these... Little uh, silver snowflakes with the little diamonds in the middle. They were also purchased at the Dollar Tree, and I thought that they would just look so pretty um, on top of the white linens. Um, the um, tablecloth was purchased, I guess, about two or three years ago at um, Big Lots, I believe. Um, but I just think that everything came together so pretty. It looks really, really nice. Um, I'm gonna take you over to my table over here that um, you guys, if you watched enough of my videos, you know that I put out like a little candy land area. So that's what that is. I'm gonna take you over there, but I'm gonna turn the lights off so you can get a better effect. Um, but first, let me show you over here. Again, if you watch my channel enough, you know I've said that um, that window, my daughter and I found one day when we were out walking, um, a neighbor had just had them laying out to be thrown out. And so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna take it and do something with it. And originally I thought that I was going to put photos behind it. Um, and someday I may do that. Um, but just for the last couple of years, I've been decorating it for each holiday. You know, I'll put stuff up there, of course, for Christmas, um, for um, Easter, and I had it decorated for fall. So I just think it looks so pretty. And then I got this at the Dollar Tree as well, along with that little gold clip there that I just thought would just kind of make those colors pop. Um, and then down here in my little um, Easter cactus, um, I have a little Nomi down there that was gifted. Um, and let's see. I will show you all. Let me show you the chair. So this little farm fresh pillowcase cover was purchased at the Dollar Tree. Um, and then I just stuck this little ribbon up on top of it, buffalo check, because I thought that looked nice. And then this was my mother-in-law's. Um, and I remember she used to put her Christmas cards in it. So I said, well, I'm gonna do that too. So all the Christmas cards that I get, I set them there. Um, until I can get some sort of a holder, because every year I say I'm going to purchase a holder, and I never do. Um, but I thought it would look really pretty in there, and I just I just think this is so beautiful. I love that. Um, and I thought it looked really nice here with that. So that's what, let me stand back and show you guys. So that's what that looks like. Actually, I can kind of flip it too. There you go, <laughs> if that helps. But hold on one second, and I'll show you guys the lights in here in the dining room with um, with the lights off. Okay, and this area here is what I call my little candy land area. And I've just got it all lit up. Um, so this little gumball machine here, um, my daughter painted it years ago at uh, my best friend Amber at her daughter's birthday party. Let me turn the light on so you can see it and then I'll show you guys with the light off. Um, so yeah, my daughter had made that. And then this, um, these little soldier bears were my mother-in-law's that she had given me a few years back. She gave them to me. And then I had found this little cutie at the either like Goodwill or Salvation Army, I can't remember, but it was super cute. And then this I've had for a long time. I think maybe my mom gave it to me, I'm not sure, but I put the little um, candies in there 
the little mints. And then over there, I probably had found this little beauty at either Goodwill or Salvation Army as well. Um, and I think that that little sweet shop was my Aunt Gail's. And um, when she passed away, my mom had given it to me. Um, and then this little village house here, um, my friend Bill back in West Virginia had given me. It was his mom. And his mom gives away a lot of like Christmas decor from year to year because she likes to switch it up. And so he had given me some Christmas decorations and that was one of them. And then these little mason jars back here that say believe with the little deer on it. Um, our friend Melissa had given us that. And this little deer here my mom had given me and she'd also given, she'd gifted me that one year for Christmas, the little snowman family. And I'll show you guys what everything looks like with the lights off, but I just want to show you. And my son, one year for Christmas, when he was really little, the schools, you know, would have their little dollar tables and you could buy parents and families presents and siblings, and he got that for me. And then this little train my mother-in-law had given me, and it plays music. She had given me um, several years back when she'd given me a bunch of Christmas stuff that she just didn't, you know, set out anymore. Um... And then that little truck there is like just a little box. And I thought it just looked really cute with this stuff. But it says Merry Christmas on it. And I've got that at the Dollar Tree. But let me show you guys with the lights off what it looks like. All lit up. And seeing us flashing down there. That's just the cord from the, the little candy house there. So I don't have my candles lit. But that's what that looks like. A piece of lily, and then I love this one. This is the nostalgic Christmas tree. Um, and I just had to have that for a few Christmases in a row. I kept saying I was gonna buy one. And finally, I broke down <laughs> and bought one at Walmart. But I guess, I think it was last year actually. Um, but I love it, it brings me back a lot of memories because my grandmother had a tree just like this when I was a little girl. Um, I was very young when she passed away, but I remember her having that as like her Christmas tree. It was larger and, you know, and then she would put like a little tree skirt under it and presents and everything. So I just had to have that. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is, like I said, the dining area, um, all decorated for Christmas. And let me bring you into, I guess I'll, I'll take you into the living room next. Let me show you this real quick. So this is just a little plant that um, a friend had given me and I just put the little star there. I thought that silver, silver star, silver star would give it just a little bit of, you know, um, Christmas touch to it. And then over here, I've got the little bells on the door. And down here, I've got a cactus and um, Tony over at Creative Chica Halls, she had gifted me this cute little, um, like a little planter stick. And it looks like a little present, and I thought that would be really cute in there. So I stuck that in there. Okay, so over here on this couch, I have um, just, I don't have a lot of Christmas stuff in here, but this is the room that we put the Christmas tree in this year. Um, that pillow does not, <laughs> does not want to sit right. But that pillow was gifted to me, I think it was last year, from a friend of mine, Miss Cheryl. And then um, that uh, nativity blanket uh, my mother-in-law had gotten um a couple of us one year like probably at least 15 years ago um so I've had it for a very long time um and then this one she had actually made it's got the little gingerbread boy and little gingerbread girl on it and then over here I just have I know it's a it's a stocking holder but um I love it, and so I set it out. It's really pretty. Um, it's got all the little princesses there, a couple of little princesses there. Um, and then over here, I have that snowman that my mom had given me many, many years ago. And um, I think that that is a home interior piece, I think. And then over here, I'll turn you this way so you can see on this little chair. Um, just got like a little piece of the cotton, the kind that has the glitter in it with a little sled and it's got the little bear family in it. That's really cute. Cause I love bears. Okay, and I just love, I've told y'all before, I love, love, love nativities. Um, and 
The tree skirt has the nativity scene on it, which is really, really pretty. And then this is our tree. Um, they, it's the LED lights. So as I move it, they're kind of going out. <laughs> I'll try to get a view. There you go. There you go. So you can see it. Yeah. So if I go up, it doesn't show it, but if I go down, it shows it. Um, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And this is what I have. I have that silver star on the top because it literally goes all, all the way to this ceiling. And um, I didn't do a theme this year. It's just really eclectic um, with just some of our favorite things. Like there's Belle, because y'all know I love Belle. And that's a picture of my son, his first Christmas. And that one is Max. And Tony was asking me if I had the other one. I don't have the girly one, which is fun because now we have Ruby. So um, now I have Max. And then when um, Tony sends the other one, I'll have Ruby. And then got this gorgeous cross. It's just so many, of course, bears, I love bears. And then there's Batman. And the Jedi, because we love Star Wars, and the angel wings for my mother-in-law in memory of her. Um, another gorgeous cross. There's ECU, where my son went and graduated. Um, and then the elephant that Tony had gifted me. I love that color of pink. It's beautiful. And, of course, I love elephants and cute snowmen. Nativity. Another nativity. And I love Groot. And this one my son picked out this year. And this one my daughter picked out. That is Go Guru. Just so many fun ones. Here's one that my friend Amber had given me. Um, it's just, and of course, Bear. And this one's one I got for my husband one year. It's a little John Deere tractor. Another ECU one. Just, oh, and then there's the military one that I got in that one one year. And then that one. That's a really pretty one I got last year in memory of my mother-in-law because it was our first Christmas without her. So I got that. Again, bears. And there's Snoopy. Kelly Santy Designs. <laughs> she loves Snoopy. And Santa. Just so many just fun. Of course, another elephant. So, oh, and I won that. I think it was last year I won that one, the strawberry shortcake one. So it's just so many fun, fun, um, and I, and I wanted a fun ornament. So I wanted last or this year, I was going to put up our other tree, but, um, I just didn't want to overcrowd the house, you know? So I did not put, I have this tree, of course, the little ceramic nostalgic one. Um, the, I have one on our front porch. Um, so yeah, I technically have three. I just don't have the six foot one that we would used to put up before my husband bought this one for me. So I absolutely fell in love with this one. The white and the little pine cones throughout. It's just so pretty. But sorry, it's hard to see in here with it because like I said, it's LED. So that's how the lights do. But let me move into the kitchen and then I'll take you into the last room. The other living room where the fireplace is. Let me show you actually the hallway first and then I'll show you the kitchen and then the fireplace room. Um, okay, so I love this. this. This old Santa is like nostalgic as well. I love this one. It says welcome. So I have that one on the door. And then over here, um, I want to say Tony gifted me that one year too. Maybe it was last year. It's just Merry Christmas with a little truck. Um, over here, I always put this little Santa up, which or the snowman, I mean which on the little bicycle and then I've got a little um, ornament there that says joy and we need to update our days till Christmas because it's not 23 days till Christmas. It's a lot less than that. <laughs> and then over here on the door, um, I have this little good tidings of comfort and joy. And up here, I took down my one picture that I had up there and put up the Merry Christmas one because I just think that's so pretty. And that to me is that that design and the, the lettering is so nostalgic too. And then down here on this little table, this little um, wagon wheel table, I have um, this little lantern. It says be still. And I want to say that 
Mr. Frankie had gifted me that last year. It says, be still and know that I am God. There we go, I'll show it to you there. This is Psalms. And then here I just put these little ornaments and the little silver Christmas tree. I thought it all tied in quite nicely. So there's that. Okay, and so up here above the refrigerator, I have um, put some garland um, with the little snowmen that a friend of mine, Tammy, years ago had given me. We went to a cookie exchange when I lived in West Virginia at her house, and there was a lot of us ladies, and it was just so much fun. We all brought cookies and exchanged them, and um, she gifted us each those little holders that you can put cookies in, because when we were leaving, we were able to put all of our cookies in there, and then that beautiful plate. Um, Mr. Frankie had gifted me that as well, and it is just beautiful. I love it. Here by the sink for my dish rack, I have under my dish rack, it's actually a placemat. I don't have a towel under there. I have a Christmas placemat. And then over here, I've got the Have a Jolly, have a jolly Christmas, little um, mason jar, wooden mason jar. And then I've got my cute little bear Christmas um, hand soap. And I believe I got that container like at a Goodwill or a Salvation Army as well. And over here, I got these little angels and they were actually salt and pepper shakers, but they're so cute that I wanted to put them up there in the window seal. And then right there, <laughs> I have um, these little cute little snowmen. If you'll hold on, I'll turn them on so you can see them. Okay, so that's what they look like, the little snowmen. I thought they were super cute. Okay, and then over here, <laughs> can hear Ruby drinking her water. Um, and then over here on the coffee station slash cocoa bar area, um, I have, let's see, over here I've got some Christmas mitts, and then I've got some Christmas boxes ready to put cookies in for people. And they come to each, and I got them last year at Dollar Tree. After Christmas, they had them marked down. Never saw them the whole time before Christmas. And after Christmas, they had them, and they had them marked down. And then I've just got a little Christmas cooking book there. Give me some cooking ideas. Um, and here by the Keurig, I've got some, which <laughs> I need to open them and use them. I haven't used any. These little chocolate stirring spoons. Um, and over here in this little jar that says Believe, I've got some marshmallows for the hot chocolate. In this little jar here, these are s'mores flavored, um, the Jet Puffs that I found at Dollar Tree, and they are delicious just to eat by themselves if you just want a little quick little chocolate fix. They're really, really good. And this little guy my mom had given me years ago, and so he's super old, and I just put some chocolates in here. These are um, look like little ornaments. They are hollow chocolate that I had got at um, Aldi's. And they were really inexpensive, maybe like a dollar ninety nine or something for like a whole box of them. And then let me turn on my little hot cocoa sign. And over here, I've got the little hot cocoa. It says hot cocos with mar hot cocoa with marshmallows served here. Super cute. And again, the same placemat that I had over there by the dishes, um, by the dish strainer. I have um, the same one here. And then I love, love, love these mugs. I love mugs, period, mugs and cups. Um, so these are super cute. Years and years ago, um, probably four or five years back, not really that long, but four or five years back, my mother-in-law, she cleaned out all her Christmas stuff and she gave me a bunch of stuff because she just wasn't, you know, into putting out stuff all the time um, year after year once the boys got older and the kids, you know, once the kids get older. And then this says, believe in the magic of Christmas. And I just put it up there. I just got that little plaid Christmas tree from the Dollar Tree and put that there on my little two-tier tray. And that little Santa, I put in some candy canes for those who want to put peppermint in their, mar in their um, hot chocolate. And then over here, this is the French vanilla that I use for my coffee, my iced coffee. And this is the um, salted caramel. And as you can see, I really like that. It's really delicious. And I like this too, but this is super good. And then down here, I put some sprinkles. So if anybody wants to put sprinkles in their hot chocolate, there's those. And then these Kim had gifted me last year. 
um, Kim over at Kim's Inspired Life. So I've got lots of, sh of sprinkles choices. We've got the green or the yeah the green sugar and the white sugar to put in your hot chocolate. So that's what that whole area right there looks like. See, so yeah, I can turn off the light so you can see it. Hold on, there's a little um, hot cocoa sign on the bar on the little cocoa slash coffee bar and then up here um i got that little plaid tree at the dollar tree and um several months back my daughter had seen those little squirrel salt and pepper shakers and um i love like the novelty salt and pepper shakers just to sit around as decor um, she wanted those, so I got those, and I thought they would look super cute up there with that little, under that little tree. And, um, I had also got that squirrel as well at the Dollar Tree. And the little, um, silver little container there with the little trees in it, I got that at, um, Target, actually. And then the little red ones sticking up there, I got at Dollar Tree. And the actual honeycomb one, or um, I guess you call it not honeycomb, well, it kind of shaped like one, but the back, it's like a um, like a chicken wire. Um, I had actually got that on clearance at Dollar General. So, like, this whole setup here is probably definitely under $10. So, it's like, it just shows that, you, like, you can really fix stuff up cute and you don't have to spend a lot of money. Over here, I just have a little, little ornament over there in the window seal, and then over there, another little one. Okay, and then I'll show you the kitchen table. So in my little three-tiered tray there um, container, I have, I put our um, fruits there, and then I just have a little magnolia um, flower that I clipped to the top. I thought that looked cute. And then over here at the table, this tablecloth and these napkins I had purchased several years back, and I honestly don't remember. I wanna say Walmart, but I honestly do not remember. Um, but I, I love the pop of color in here because it's not very often that we have pops of color in our, um, in our kitchen. So it's nice. And the chargers, of course, were purchased at Dollar Tree. These plates, the plate, the bowl, and the cup, the little Christmas mugs, um, were my mom's. Those were all my mom's. Um, so... Yeah, so that's how the kitchen table looks. Okay, and so we're in the living room with the fireplaces. And so on this stand, I, just, I have a little picture here of my daughter when she was little on Santa's lap in that little cute little joy picture frame. And then I love this. This was gifted to me, I think, last year. It says, um, Noel, joy, and peace. And I just took those little beads there from the Dollar Tree and wrapped it around there. I thought that would look cute. And look what Santa found. A puppy. A puppy on my floor. <laughs> That's Ruby sleeping in her little bed. Say hi, Ruby Doob. And guess where her favorite place to sleep is? Hmm, right by the fireplace. Can you blame her? <laughs> So again, I've told y'all I absolutely love my nativity scenes. So you're gonna see them all throughout this room as well. So this is what the fireplace looks like and I'm super excited. I really, 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 really love it. So over here we have um, a little star. It's a stocking holder. So it's got all of our stockings and then also the, the fur baby stockings. What? Did I not make this about you? I'm so sorry. So that was Max's bed, but Ruby loves to lay there too, and she used to lay there with him. When he was still with us, she would lay there with him. So let me take you up here. So this angel over here, I had found, my daughter and I had found at, let me think. Mm. Hold on, let me ask her. I forgot. <laughs> Say hi, Ruby. <laughs> okay, so my daughter re refreshed my memory. So we had got that beautiful <coughs> angel at Home Goods. <coughs> Ruby, stop. I had got that cute little Christmas tree there at um, Dollar General. This was a gift <coughs> to myself. Um, and no, actually, 
No, I got that last year. I want to say at the Dollar Tree. And look at this cute little, that's a tea light. It's a little Christmas tree. I love that. And I put the little magnolia there and that little gold tree there. This was a Christmas gift last year. I'll turn the lights off so you guys can really appreciate everything. Um, but I got this as a Christmas gift, I want to say last year as well. And again, you guys know that I love the manger scenes, all the nativity scenes. I found that little beauty at the Dollar Tree. I couldn't believe it. And I found those beauties. Did I find them there as well? Or no, Target. I found those at Target. And this little manger scene is from Honduras when my in-laws went on a missions trip and they brought that back for me. And it's really, really cool. I love it. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so beautiful. I love that. And again, the little gold Christmas tree tea light. I just couldn't believe that they had that at the Dollar Tree. Sometimes their decor amazes me that like how inexpensive it is and how pretty it is. And the magnolias. I believe I got those magnolia clips maybe at Walmart. And my daughter got that as a Christmas gift. I want to say from Mr. Frankie last year, it says, be still and know that I'm God. Um, they had a Christmas party and um, you could pick a gift and Bella got that. And then look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And our stockings. And then this, my mother had gifted me many years ago. It's also a little manger scene. And I love it. It's one of my favorite pieces. And it's, you know, the gold has started to wear off, but that's okay. It's showing its years, but aren't we all? <laughs> and then my mother-in-law, this is one of the pieces she'd also given me um, when she was going through her Christmas stuff. It says, Jesus is the season. We are the reason. And I just think that is so beautiful. And my and over here, I have another manger scene and I just put a little tea light down there by the baby Jesus. I told you guys I have a collection of manger scenes because I absolutely love, 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 love manger nativity scenes. And last but not least, I'm super excited to share with you guys my little Christmas village. Mine and my daughters, we love the Christmas villages. So first off, I put down this like little snow scarf that has the glitter on it um, for under our uh, little village scene. And typically I would put the village scene up on top of our mantle, but it has just grown so much and I thought it would be really pretty here on this little wooden chest that my husband had made for me several years back. Um, but this is the whole town. I've got a little Christmas tree at the back another one over there and um, some of them are lit up and some are not um, but let me take you down and show you guys so these little lights I had purchased at the Dollar Tree and they actually light really really well um, and they're battery operated so that's perfect so I put some here at the front of the town some in the middle of the road of the town and then on top of the little village houses and so we've got everything from kids playing in the snow to snowmen look at the light radiating radiating out of that and like I said this is um I purchased these at the Dollar Tree this year and I can't believe how well they light up um you just put some little uh if it's double A or triple A batteries in there but it lights up really really well and so over here, we've got a little Christmas tree. We've got the church with the carolers out there. There's another church. I've got several churches here. Um, a little house with a snowman and a Christmas tree. Another little snowman. There is, that is the park cafe, it says. Um, back here, I think that's the physician's office <laughs> and there's the flower shop that's the fish shop and that is 
Okay, friends, so last night my phone shut off on me. It said that my storage was full. So I wanted to show you guys quickly here. Um, this lantern I had purchased at either Goodwill or Salvation Army, I think Goodwill, for under $3 and so pretty. And I thought it would look perfect right here by my willow tree uh, manger scene. I've had this for quite a few years and I absolutely love it. And I just threw some little lights up around it. They're starting to fall, but they did look nice. Um, so there's that. And then down here, I just have a picture of the kids when they were smaller and one of our dogs, um, Mason, that we used to have, um, along with Maxie. He's in that couch, too. And then this one here, um, has been got me a couple Christmases ago, and it reminded me of Max. <laughs> so, he's cute. He's really cute. Um, and speaking of Max, up here we have a Christmas picture of him from several years back. And then I have an angel behind him. I thought that was really fitting. A willow tree angel and she's just so beautiful and then over here is the ladder that my husband and i had made um it's a um quilt or um, blanket ladder up here i love this this lights up this is a little manger scene that i got a few years ago about two years ago probably from the mall and i just love it because at night you can really see it, um, but it, you see the North Star there and then the candle in the window and the manger, um, the, the baby bed there for baby Jesus. It's just, it's just a beautiful picture. And then my mother-in-law had got me this a few years ago for Christmas. It's a little heart with another, she knew, you know, that I loved manger and nativity scenes. And this comes with a key. So it's like the key to the heart and I'll show you the back of it. It's really pretty. So that's really neat. I don't know if that's a Hallmark piece or not. Um, and then here, of course, I'm sorry if I'm rushing it, but I don't want my phone to cut off. I want to be able to actually show this to you all. Um, my plant is just going crazy. It's absolutely amazing. I'll show you guys, look at that. It's all the way up there. Absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it. And again, in the daylight, this is the manger scene. So I hope that you all have enjoyed this video of my home Christmas tour 2022. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, share it if you would. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and a very Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year 2023.